Okay, welcome back to another tutorial. This one is going to show you how to run a server using the Minecraft Edgy Server tool. Um, the first thing you need to do on your Mac is just check client settings and make sure the RAM is set a little bit higher, um, at least 700. Um, I think that's the default, so you should be right. Now, if you're starting a server, click on Start Minecraft Edgy Server Tool this will pop up the server tool. It asks you to set a teacher password if this is the first time you have run the server tool. Um, so set the teacher password to be whatever you want. It'll tell you it's been successfully set. Um, you can then get the server tool up here. So if I just get that out of the way. You have a couple of options here. If when you installed it, you installed the tutorial world, you can start the server with the tutorial world. Um, there are assignments that come with it. There is um, a couple of assignments there you can load and have a play with. You can create a flat grass map to have a mess around with, or a random map if you just wanted the regular Minecraft world, or you can select a saved map. Now I've got a couple of saved maps here um, that are found in my Minecraft Edu um, directory. Um, so if you have created maps and you want to know where to, where to get them, um, in your Minecraft Edu directory, again tickle me, or your home, on a Mac, your home directory, library, application support, Minecraft Edu. Underneath the server tool, there's a Minecraft Edu worlds, and that's where it stores all of its worlds. So you'll see assignment maps, empty maps, saved maps, temp world, which is the world that you um, are running off when you actually start the server, and then there's the tutorial world as well. So you'll see in here in the saved maps, there are all of my saved worlds right there. Um, so you just choose the world you want to start, and then you can uh, check whether animals are disabled, or monsters disabled, or nether is disabled. So on this particular map, all of these are disabled. It would now be animals enabled if I wanted it to do that. Um, the other thing you can do is if you are using um, a different uh, port or you want to apply a different amount of RAM, you can do that in the server settings just in there before you press start. So if I start my server using that particular map, up comes the um, server window and then you can in here see if there's any players on, how much RAM it's using um, and what's been happening so uh, you can also from the console um, teleport, freeze, mute and create and um, start creative mode uh, you can change the teacher password from in there that's the general ones, the world ones you can start night or turn night and day off so it's only uh, it remains daytime you can turn off the weather if you don't want it um, by default fire and TNT are disabled so you can allow that you can allow or not allow students to build freely on the map tropification and desertification if you um, have a play with them in the assignment maps that come with it um, health and hunger uh, uh, used to be called realism so that's just your standard Minecraft instead of being a sort of a cross between creative and um, survival you are full on survival there and you can choose whether to turn monsters off or on and animals off or on depending on what and um, how annoying they are for you you can give a particular block to people so um, you need to type the name or ID um, it is a lot harder to do on the console than it is to do in game so if if you are planning on giving items to students um, I highly recommend you do it in game uh, so log into the server yourself and then you can set an assignment title for that particular map if you want um, that's pretty much it if you want to stop the server you press stop um, but before you do that you may want to save your map and you can choose where you save it to or oh, sorry, the name that you save it, and it will end up in that server tool Minecraft Edu Worlds directory uh, saved maps in there. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, attach to this server as a teacher in the next tutorial, so keep tuned. Thanks for watching.